that the fuel racks are going to be damaged. And what that means is the, the box of spaghetti is going to be dented. So when they go in to try to pull the fuel out, they're not going to be able to. Some of that fuel is going to be stuck, like spaghetti stuck in the box. And uh, an earthquake like this most recent one uh, likely caused more damage or it caused more crap to fall into the pool. And as particles fall into the pool, again, it's going to change the friction that's required to pull out this, the spaghetti in the box, to, to pull out the nuclear fuel. I think what they're going to see is um, uh, they co go down with this long handle and try to grab the fuel on the top. And uh, uh, if the fuel is undamaged and the rack is undamaged, it slides out pretty easily. If the fuel is bent or if the rack is bent, it doesn't. So that what they can do is they can crank up the power and pull a little harder. The problem is that this is spent fuel, so it's brittle. And if they pull too hard, they're likely to, um, to snap the fuel. And what that can mean is a gaseous release of radiation. So th that was a long prelude to answer your question. <laughs> Why are they building these roofs over the fuel pool? Is that they're afraid that when they come to pull the nuclear fuel, they're going to snap some of the bundles and they're going to release radioactive gases. When they build that building over it, they then run that gases through a filter and then up the stack so that less radiation is released than, than would be to the public. So it's a vehicle to capture whatever radiation comes off the spent fuel as they're, um, as they're trying to pull it out.